Today was an easy day, some rehab for Achilles and cycling 30 minutes indoors and basically this is rest and some stretching and now I have a chance to do video about that how did I get flexible, how did I do all those splits First of all, timing is important don't do it after a long warm up basically when you have kind of normal situation or even a bit cold, that is the perfect moment to do a uh, flexibility. And I used to start back in 1995, and I started with calves, quads, and hamstrings as we go. When I was young, I couldn't reach my feet with my fingertips when I was stretching hamstrings. Nowadays, it's a bit better. Always, I used to hold these like uh, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. This is a kind of a passive stretching. And next one, just go to the side for five seconds. And the other, just for five seconds. And then to the middle to point my chest is reaching to the floor. Just hold it for five seconds. Okay. And the one you know you should dribble over here from side of your lips. seconds and of course on both sides this is the one you can do against the wall just take it over there again and you should feel it over here This is a bit funny, but this is the way how you can follow your progress with the side split. You just put somewhere where it's kind of lying on the floor, and then from the middle with the line. And when I started, I was like 55 centimeters out, which is like 22 inches, and that was 1995. So, uh, I was extremely stiff when I started, but uh, week after week, month after month, I was able to do the whole thing in a year. And this is what you do, you just get closer and closer and you can follow progress in a simple way. Basically, you can stretch side place like this, it's a bit easier when you're stiff. You slide it down and then you can just check uh, how far you still you are. Just for the center. And this is the way I was doing when I was beginning. 
and other way you just force yourself closer and closer just like this you can just use your hand two of them when you're stiff and then you're just getting closer and closer Finally, when you reach your top level of the day, you can just hold it there 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and try to do progress next time. But it's going to happen very slowly. I was using uh, one year from 55 centimeter to get it, and that is actually quite fast. So I remember once somebody is telling the real way to do side split is when your feet are facing forward, not to the roof as I do at the moment. But basically when you do that, only thing you do, you arch your back and you keep tense. And that's like, uh, I don't know, there's nothing to do with that flexibility when you do it that way. But uh, mostly when you have shoes, it's just easy. Basically, you need a bit strength, not flexibility. And this is how it goes. So, don't do it like that. After side splits, I was using this exercise. And just trying to open a bit. You can use your elbows if you're stiff. Once when you get to the point, you can just open up all the way and even take your hands out. And I used to hold this like uh, 30 seconds. If I feel tired, keep my hands over here, doing it in 45 seconds. And then uh, stretching for front splits. When I was beginning, I was just stretching my hamstrings in this position. And then I just took support from the chair and try to go down as possible. This is a bit uh, hard to follow progress, but once you're going to get it if you keep going and never give up. When you reach your point of the day, you just hold it 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Once when you get it, don't stop. You can still progress. Just try to take your knee off the floor, and it's getting a bit more difficult. Always you can progress. Always after passive stretching, I'm doing some active stuff, which is uh, raising my legs, the front, the sides. This is something you should do it carefully after a long passive stretching session. Uh, you can get injuries if you try to push yourself to the limits.
that's how I did it. No secrets, just hard work. And that's why flexibility is much easier to train than strength or endurance because no secrets. Anyway, if there's someone who gets some useful stuff or help, that means I didn't upload it for nothing. Alright, maybe tomorrow some easy training again.